hi everyone in this video we will create this calculator using react js so let's check it how it works these videos if you press this button it will remove one one and if you press this button it will clear all okay so now let's perform a operation plus okay 75 will be perform 45 multiply by 8 360 78 divide by i this is a result 23 minus 3 to 21 so it is all about uh, performing this operation this is a calculator up in react case so let's get started before starting if you are new to my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe so to create this uh, calculator in react js uh, i have created my react app okay so we, this is the index js we imported our app js in this uh, index okay this is our app js we will write our code in this app.js okay let's create a css file also for designing you can use bootstrap tailwind whatever framework you would like but i'm using css okay to write design for that app.css and let's import it in this file yeah so now let's create first our first element that would be container inside the container we will create another that is the calculator this statement and inside this we will have a form and inside the forum we will create now the first element which is due and we will name it no we don't need the name we will just create an input field here <coughs> after creating this so now let's add our CSS design to this let's copy this first of all to the container width would be 100 percent height would be 100 vertical height and display would be flex align item center justify content center and background color would be now let's assign linear gradient 140 degree uh, this would be blue blue okay so let's make it it looks like this uh, now let's add our design for um, this calculator oh, width would be you know we don't need width um, so padding for this would be 20 pixel and border radius would be 10 pixel uh, background color and that would be white So now let's run our server how it looks like npm start it will start our local server our react app server Yeah, the server has started so it looks like this okay so now let's come here to add more code and let's add here another new element inside this we will add input type button okay type button the value would be hmm, ac and let's duplicate it the value of this would be md means delete and this would be just dot and this would be divide okay so now let's copy this and paste it here down and the value of this would be 7 this would be 8 this would be 9 and this would be multiplication okay so now let's copy that and paste it again and this would be 4 this would be 5 and this would be 6 it will this would be plus let's paste it again 
and this would be one this would be two three and minus sign again paste paste them Ask, copy these and paste it here right now this will be double zero and this would be single zero and this would be equal sign okay let's remove this now let's check it yeah it looks like this okay so now we will add our design for these buttons so let's come here to our top button we will just add the design for our form form input in okay the border none okay outline zero width would be 60 pixel height would be 60 pixel font size 16 pixel background color let's add blue but it should look like this okay uh, margin margin would be 2 pixel let's check it now yeah it looks like this uh, uh, but we will add border reduce about 10 pixel and the color should be white font weight that would be bolder yeah it looks like this and also the cursor should be mm, uh, cursor it should be cursor pointer it's okay now so now whenever we press our mm, mouse it should change the color let's copy this forum input type is equal to button whenever we reach over so background color should change to to this color okay let's make it more yeah it looks like this so now let's make this in our input field so for our input field we will add here a class name class display dot forum dot display display flex justify content flex and and also at margin top would be just 5 pixel right 0 pixel and bottom would be 15 pixel and 15 pixel it looks like this uh, now that didn't apply to that class name Uh, add this make it 20 pixel top right bottom sorry this is not class okay yeah it looks like this uh, but we will make it 15 pixel it looks like better now so let's add uh, here forum that display input and text align right flex flex would be one it will take entire row okay yeah, it will looks like this uh, and also let's add font size font size would be 40 pixel and padding top padding would be 5 pixel and 10 pixel left to right 
yes and let's change this color okay to change this color i will just try background color not big black but we will like like this yeah it looks like better now so now let's make this change the size of this equal so for that uh, let's come here set a class name equal let's write here forum input dot equal width would be 130 pixel yeah let's make it Yeah, it looks like better now so now whenever we press this button we should store the value in this input field so for that let's come here we will create a variable where we store our values okay const um, value set value is equal to use state hook we will use use state hook by default no value so whenever we press this dot button we should add this value to the input field for example this one okay let's add on click event and we will call this set value method set value and we will pass value plus e dot target dot value if we don't try this let's first of all remove this what happened let's check it we will just enter for example this press this uh, the video didn't add it either target is it correct with that okay and sorry let's add here the value value is equal to value and now let's check it let's press this whenever we press it twice or three three times we cannot add again okay so for that uh, let's add value plus either target or value now let's come here press it again press again we have those values yes so now let's add this functionality for all these buttons okay we will add it for all buttons so i have added for all buttons okay the same thing i wrote for all buttons without equal button and this delete and clear all button okay so now let's check it let's press these okay we can uh, add all these values so now whenever we press this delete we should delete just one of them okay so let's add for that we will right on click event the we will call e set value and here we will write value that slice we will call slice function and we will write here um, the start number zero and here we will just uh, assign it minus one okay from the end just remove one of that let's come in let's press this see one of them is deleting see are deleted so whenever we press this button we should remove all the values from that for from that okay let's copy this and paste it here and instead of this we will light just okay no video so now let's write it let's press this see all video has gone so now whenever we press this equal sign so we should perform our uh, uh, formula okay our operations so for that let's come down and we will call on click event and we will just call um, our in click uh, e our arrow function and set value and here we will set our value we will call eval function okay this function of javascript and we will write here video it will perform the operation and it will update the video 
So this evil method we should not use in real application because it is not secure. So let's come here for example 8 plus 8 press this C that has added and let's clear it for example 50 divided by 10 that will be 5 okay and even though 80 minus 56 C 14 and 5 multiplied by 5 equal to 25 so it was all about creating a calculator uh, using react js so i think this would be i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video please subscribe our youtube channel and thanks for watching